I thought I had it figured out Believed in us We were meant to be, no doubt A teenage love Everybody else could see The way we were Living in a fantasy When I kiss her
do you expect me to say? You know that I will always find a way To fuck up everything that we ever made Some people change and some people don't Don't give it another shot We've had enough, I think it's time to stop I fucked up everything we ever made Some people change, but you know I won't Maria, I wanna make everything okay don't trust me, forgive me, you have to find a way Maria, I wanna make everything okay Don't trust me, believe me, you have to run away What do you expect me to do? Push you away when we're both feeling blue No lies can help with what you're going through Some things can change but you know it won't why do we wait for the worst? Everyone knows that the ending is cursed This ship is sinking so just say the words Some people change but you know I won't Maria, I wanna make everything okay Don't trust me, forgive me, you have to find a way Maria, I wanna make everything okay Don't trust me how to do a front toss on the beam, do ya? Listen up because I'm gonna break it down for you. First, we're gonna start on the floor. Most important part of the front toss is the takeoff. As you can see, when I enter into my front toss, I'm intentionally dropping my chest down to my front leg and swinging my arms directly behind me to help initiate the flip. As my chest goes down, my legs, specifically my front leg, are bending slightly like a loaded spring. The load and explode action is designed to get me off the ground as fast as possible so that I can have height for the flip. Try it on a line to practice spotting and keeping the skill straight over the top. Okay, now it's time to hop on the beam. I like to start by going to the motion of the flip without actually doing it to mentally prepare for the skill. Since I haven't done the skill in almost a year, mental prep is just as important as the physical prep for me. If you watch my arms at the end of the skill, you'll notice that my left arm's dropping since the beam's only four inches wide. Even just a small arm drop can pull you off the beam right away. If you keep falling, try to assess your body position when you're coming out of this skill to make sure that everything is in alignment with the beam and you're not dropping to one side. If you can't tell by this video, you're gonna make mistakes, so just trust the process. The mistakes you make don't define you. They're just small signals to help you learn how to do it correctly. Comment if you have any questions and don't forget to follow for more.